Hey friends, I've got a new moon reading for you. First, I asked, what is everybody moving through during this new moon? Self-love, compassion, which remember, this is compassion for others as well as yourself, okay? Spontaneity and expression. So we're working on healthy communication and opening up uh, communication again. It may have been extra quiet with Mercury retrograde going on. So I love that the new moon is happening, Mercury retrograde is ending, and expression is the last thing Spirit wants to talk about here that we are working on right now and moving into more positive communication. Next is what should we expect with Mercury retrograde ending? Acceptance. So notice how it says they're releasing control. One of the hardest things on this journey is letting go of that grip, trying to control everything. We have to release that control, accept the present circumstances, whatever it is that they may be, and allow things to flow how is needed for, because understand that that is the way things need to progress for the healing of each person involved, okay? Not just you, for what your twin needs, and even for the people around you guys in your lives as well. Individuality, so focusing on yourself right now, focusing on your uniqueness and embodying your higher self, your life purpose path, embracing creativity and your soul expression. That, in fact, saying that expression, soul expression is creativity. This doesn't have to be communication with your twin. This could be allowing your soul to speak and allowing your soul to speak through you, not stifling your voice, not stifling your inner voice anymore. And most importantly, your vision, holding your vision of the future. Part of this is your union with your twin, but this is also your life, the big picture of your whole life, your authentic soul path, using your voice, following your purpose, and doing what you are meant to do, okay? Next, I asked, what do we need to know right now? Just what do we need to know right now? Be aware of cause and effect. Understand how everything you do has a ripple effect in the world around you, on the people around you, on your twin flame. Your energy affects your twin flame. When you as a divine feminine are stuck in lower fear-based energies, you are keeping your twin in lower fear-based energies as well. This is why there are the coaches who talk about you need to raise your vibration. The more you can focus on raising your vibration, getting out of the ego center, and and releasing that control so that you are in a surrendered state that allows your twin to be able to rise as well because your twin is not is going to stay stuck as long as you're stuck your twin is going to rise in their healing and their energy if you are up there too now they're not necessarily going to do it at the same pace as you but if you're low <laughs> they're low if you're high that gives them room to grow okay um, also keep in mind, well, actually this goes along with that, but you know, think about the quality of your thoughts. Are you focusing on positive thinking? Are you focusing on negative thinking? How can you make positive changes in that for yourself? Gratitude consciousness is one of the most significant things that will transform your life, transform your energy and your vibration and your frequency and help positive outcomes come about. Help abundance flow. So think about the quality of your thoughts and think about how every single thing that you do and say and think affects the world around you. You can't manifest positive things if you're thinking negative thoughts, okay? Cooperation, cooperating with your twin, even if that's not a spoken thing, even if you're just simply holding space for them, allowing them to go through their process, cooperating with others as well, Every understanding that every single thing happens for a reason. And like it says there, you realize that every person and experience has value. So work with the world around you and what spirit is bringing you. Willingness to compromise. <laughs> willingness to cooperate. Willingness to go with the flow. Willingness to surrender and hold space for your twin while they work through what they need to. And, and discernment. 
being able to discern between those lower energy fear-based thoughts and those higher energy intuitive thoughts, being able to discern between your ego center and your intuitive voice, being able to discern between fear and love, being able to discern between what readings, what guidance resonates with you and what doesn't. All about discerning what is right for you and what's not. Then I asked, what um, can we expect with the Equinox Gateway? Ownership. Ownership of your own behavior, your own thinking, your own life, your own life purpose path, your own relationships, all of that. Everything. (laughs) Um, Integrating your own lessons so that you are going through your own transformation as well which enables your twin to work through theirs. If you are not facing yourself and doing your own shadow work and and working on your own healing process, your twin can't either because the divine feminine always leads. It's, It's part of the soul agreement, okay? Elevation. So with this equinox, we are really going to be, you know, obviously this can be elevating your vibration, but I think of it as like leveling up in life. So like your life purpose path expanding, career expanding, um, the big picture of everything for you in your life, elevating and, and growing and bringing you to the next direction. Think of that vision card. You ha- are holding the vision of what you want in your life and you're elevating yourself. And, and with the equinox, spirit is actually going to be helping to elevate you, bringing in the energy, bringing in the connections, opening the doors, opening the pathways of opportunity, Okay. And then I love how we also have here, lastly, the friendliness card, because to me, this is a, this is like, goes back to that expression card talking about, okay, we've made it through Mercury retrograde. We've made it through all of the astrological transits and portals of the summer, um, the new moon, everything. Now we're ready to start reconnecting. Now we're ready to start communicating again. So expect with this friendliness card, expect, um, improvement in positive energy, expression, communication, movement, all of those things with, with everything, honestly, I I was going to say with your twin, but I really think that it's your whole life. It's everything. So soul tribe members connecting in positive ways, positive growth on your life purpose paths. And then of course, if there's been, um, no contact or limited contact, or even just, um, we go through ups and downs, even in the reunion stages, because we're all still human. We're all still going through stuff. Even when we're in good communication with our twins, we still go through ups and downs. It's still a normal relationship. It's still normal to have those good periods and bad periods. So I see this friendliness card as a positive sign for improvements and getting back on track and those types of things. And then of course, lastly, Spirit wants to remind you that what are you here for? What's the bigger picture of it all? Where are we headed? Growing and expanding our, per- our following our soul purpose. There you go. Let me rephrase. Following our soul purpose paths in all capacities. You know, that's your twin flame connection. That's your career and life purpose. And that's your spiritual gifts and abilities. Following your soul path and fulfilling your soul purpose here on this planet (laughs) at this time in history during Ascension times. And you know what? I just have to throw out there. My spirit told my twin the other week that he needs to fulfill his soul. And that's what I get from this too. You're following your soul path. You're fulfilling, you're fulfilling your soul and your soul purpose. Okay. Freedom from any more constrictions, karmic situations, karmic cycles, anything limiting beliefs, freedom from all of that. We are going to be embracing that, finding that, freeing ourselves, moving in the right direction. I I might not be saying that the exact right way because depending on who we're talking about, but you know what I mean. And embracing unity, unity, consciousness, inner union, physical union with our twins and that commitment with our twins. So this is where we're headed. This is where we're meant to be. This is where we're headed. We are going to get there. We're not all of us going to get there at the exact same time, but we are going to get there. Trust in it. Follow spirit's guidance and you will get there.